Hey, it's Ben at Raindrop Gutter Guard. Today we have a 2 by 3 inch downspout going underneath the deck into a drain tile. You don't want that clogging up because it's inaccessible. So what we've done is already installed the Raindrop Gutter Guard to keep out clog forming debris. Next we will replace the current outlet with the wide mouth downspout converter. This will allow water to flow freely into the downspout. And the final step will be to install the inline strainer. This allows the homeowner to manage micro debris at a safe and convenient level. So let's start by removing the existing outlet. So you need the wide mouth downspout and a marker. We're going to put this in the gutter and mark where it will be on the floor of the gutter. Also mark another mark about a half inch inside and that's where the bend point is going to be. And we'll go over that later. So now take your tin snips and cut on an angle to the corners. These parts that are hanging need to be trimmed but leave about another half inch. This will be used to hold the wide mouth in place. Also clean up these pieces in the back and the front so that nothing can get snagged on them while it's passing through the gutter system. So what I'm doing right now is bending the floor of the, the gutter so that, that it's at a 90 degree angle. Now the side flaps of the wide mouth um, are going to be bent inward and that's what's going to be securing the wide mouth to the bottom of the gutter. So when we go into the top of the gutter now, you squeeze everything together, it, that's what's going to tighten everything up. It's time to put the elbow back on, and right now I'm going to make a few marks where the elbow comes up onto the wide mouth downspout. This is I'm going to use as a guide for where I'm cutting on these corners. So we're cutting along these guidelines that we made, and after your one is free, bend it so it comes straight down. It's time to put the elbow back on, so just put it up there nice and snug, and all you need is one zip screw to hold it in place. Now it's time to install the inline strainer and I'm basically right now I'm just crimping the heck out of the bottom edge so it'll fit inside the gutter. You can see that you only need to remove about a, a foot of the existing downspout. Now this is a splash block and that keeps all the water centered and going into the basket and also keeps it from making a pinging sound of that leftover water dripping down out of the gutter. So put the inline strainer in the bottom first and then connect it up top, slide it up in there. Now to secure it to the rest of the downspout, throw a zip screw in the top, and then also, same with the bottom, just one zip screw on the side. And there you go, your inline strainer is complete. To remove it, slide it up, and then pull it out with the bottom first. Dump out whatever's inside, 
And then to put it back in, go to the top first, and drop it down in the bottom. Mm -hmm. 